Hello my friends, it is now Tuesday, the fifth week of Lent, and the title for our devotion today is Dreams and Truth. We're going to take our Bibles and open them again to Matthew. We're going to be in Matthew 27 so that we can read verses 15, 17b, so the second part of verse 17, and then 18 and 19. So 15, 17b, 18 and 19. I already have my Bible all set up. You already know that. And you also already know that if you want to look this up with me, and I hope you do, that you'll press pause right now and you'll look up this Matthew 27 passage, okay? Now, when you're ready on your end, you press play again and we'll read it together, okay? Because I'm going to get started right now. Matthew 27, 15, 17b, 18 and 19 says this. Now, at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you? Barabbas or Jesus, who was called Christ. For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in a dream. I wonder about the dream that Pontius Pilate's wife had about Jesus. Was it from God? Was it something she dreamed just because Jesus was in the news and she was thinking about him? Hmm. Well, God certainly can use dreams if he wants to. But then, of course, we run into the problem of knowing whether a dream is truly from God or not. We know if a dream contradicts what we know about God from the Bible, we shouldn't pay any attention to it. So a dream that leads us to do something wrong is definitely not from God. If we think we might really have a message from God, the best thing we can do is pray and consult with fellow Christians, especially the wise and experienced ones. Above all, we put our faith and hope in Jesus Christ, who laid down his life for us and rose from the dead to make us God's children. No dream is as important as him. Jesus is the heart of everything for us. Let us hold on to him, for he is certainly holding on to us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, keep our attention fixed on you forever. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, friends, so now here are the three questions that we're going to think about and discuss with those around us after this video ends. The first question is this. Do you find dreams and prophecies exciting or scary? Hmm. Second question, do they draw you closer to Jesus or further away? Hmm. And now here's the third one. Have you ever had a dream you thought was from God? Hmm. Well, I hope I do get to be included in some of these conversations. You know, I've heard from many adults around Trinity and to all the places that this video reaches that it is drumming up, that these videos are drumming up conversation inside of homes, inside of small groups, and inside of like car rides to and from school. And that has been very interesting to me. So um, so I hope that you'll let me in on this conversation too. I know that the conversations are being had regardless but this is one I kind of want to be a part of for sure. Maybe you can just let me in on it. Put me on speakerphone. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I love you so much, friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.